Okay, so we'll look on some of those icons. Let's look actually on this side, on the left side, our toolbar. And this is more as an object or functionalities accessing inside the view. So when I start creating, I can manipulate with top, but when I want to create some specific atmosphere properties or object, I will we'll use my left bar. And you can see right here, it's kind of organizing and dividing for me. So right here on the top, and you can see this dot, it's mean if I right click, it will expand it for me. And I can create the water, I can create ground plane extent, add rain or add snow. So this is global environment effect. Below this, we have it a simple primitive creation. Again, if this is kind of dot, you can click and you right here you have it. We can create orb, we can create a cylinder, a cube square and all of this different as well in alpha plane right on the end. So we can go select and as we selecting, you can see it's created for us this uh, object. Okay, next we can create a text and again just click or right click and it does not extend so we can open menu and create a specific text. We can create a different type terrains and right here we have our high field terrain procedural and we can preload it. Okay, we also have the plans to create it and this is nice, it's a procedural plans. So when we start working closer, you'll see the different. You can create a static plans and put there which it does not affect by wind or anything and uh, with the view, the plant is actually very good, work very nicely. And again, with new versions, you also have a plant editor. So this is give you even more flexibility on how to work with your plants. And when I was meaning what plants, for example, let's go right here and we'll create just this tree example. And I need click once first time, I just increase so we can kind of see the plant. And nice thing because it's a procedural, it's have it all information of the plant. So when I click second time, you'll notice it's actually create a different looking tree. See how much they're different? It's the same species, but there are different algorithms was working how the branching, how positioning leaves. So this is what make a big difference inside the view. And best of, they're all animated. So they will respond to the wind, they will respond to the growth and all other properties. So we'll look on them separately. So next we have the rocks and again same things if we right click we open this additional menu with the multiple different rocks that it's come with a view so you can select them. You can modify add new, new, new uh, rocks if you need it and right here you can see how many we have different type of the rocks that we can use it. Okay, below we have it also convert to MetaCloud or create a cloud. If we right click and extend, you can see right here we can add cloud, multiple cloud layers if we need it. And also as preview new one addition to this, we can take any object and convert it to the MetaCloud. So we can create specific shape of the cloud and of the material if we want to import and convert to this object. So next we have it planets. And again, some version may does not have this. I'm with a Vue Extreme, which is allowed to work. It's higher versions, it's allowed to plug in work with uh, other applications, Maya Max, um, Cinema 4D, uh, Lightwave. Uh, but some maybe don't have it. But right here, it's allowed us to create a distance planet for us when we're going to do splines to create it, uh, which help us allow to create on the terrains like roads, rivers, all this other effect supplies. We also, if you notice right here, we come to next part and on this one we can load, save, export objects. It's a different models we can import from different applications that support of course the poser, OBG, FBX, all these different type of models. Next we'll have these particle systems. Again, if we right click, they're already preset of some particles. We can preload it and um, for example, uh, this is dandelions, I think I created and butterflies, so we can have it all as different particles. You can preload them and play around. We'll look a little bit closer on them. We also have um, different effectors on the particles because we want to create tornadoes, we want to create wind or some effect. And those effectors can also work with the plants or other things on the ecosystem. We have it all these different types of the lights have it available to us. 
And the nice things about lights, they are supporting real luminosity and everything. So very useful. Next options is disabled because we don't have objects. So example, if we can create a couple objects right here. And let's go to select them. You notice right here is our options available because this is our Boolean operation Stellar Dust group object together. Uh, used all the substructure, the difference, all different properties. Create for us meta blob. Also below this we have it next options that allow us drop object, drop object on the top with the alignment or drop camera on the top or other. So this is all manipulations. Uh, these two sections, one manipulation with objects, another one manipulation with the positioning of the objects. Okay, so this is kind of fast overview of this bar. And again, don't worry if you got last little bit on this, because each of these options will go in separate tutorials and look on them. Like, for example, on the text properties, how to place, how to work with the text and do other things. So on every, every single of these properties options will go in individual tutorials and we'll look on them how to work.